The first one, um, it's about simple conceptual ER diagram. So if we read through, basically, it's about the Yelp, you know, online review site Yelp. An online user rates a restaurant after dining. And each user may rate any number of restaurants, including none. Uh, similarly, a restaurant may be rated by any number of users. Basically, it's about a rating. So there is a user and restaurant, and they will, uh, the user will make a rating about the restaurant. We want to record the user ID and those information. So for this one, we can create the user entity first. And also, we can create a restaurant entity. And we can add these attributes for each entity. So it can be solved like this. So we can first create user entity. And we can create restaurant entity. So for in the question, for the user entity, we want to keep the user ID as a primary key because it's the unique identifier. And then we can keep the name and email information like this. For the restaurant, similar. So we want to have a restaurant ID as a primary key. And we want to keep the restaurant name and address like this. So we can keep attributes like this. And then, yeah, so user will basically rate the restaurant. So we can have the rate relationship. So user will rate restaurant like this. So basically, it will be binary relationship between user and the restaurant entity. So now for the continuity, we can take a look at the rules. So uh, each user may rate any number of restaurants, including none. So from the user's perspective, they may rate any number of restaurants, so many, including none. If the user doesn't rate any restaurant, it will be zero. So that will be the cardinality. And from the restaurant's perspective, a restaurant may be rated by any number of users, including none. So restaurant, if it is rated, it can be rated by many users at most. And if nobody rates it, then minimum cardinality will be zero, basically. So that will be the cardinality on each side of this relationship. And the next one is this. Whenever a user rates a restaurant, a rating number between 1 and 5 is assigned to the restaurant by the user. So basically, the rating, if rating number will depend on a certain user rating a certain restaurant. So it depends on the user and restaurant. So we have many to many relationships between user and restaurant. So we can add this rating number into that relationship, which is an assignment relationship, basically. So yeah, that's it. So basically, we can put rating number here in the many to many relationship. And then the last part is, in addition, we want to record average rating of each restaurant as well. So average rating. So average rating only depends on the restaurant. So restaurant will receive multiple ratings from the user then we'll calculate average rating. So you shouldn't think about how the information is calculated. You have to think about where it depends on. So the dependency is only on the restaurant. Each restaurant will have one average rating. So we can simply put that in the restaurant entity. So average rating of restaurant will be stored in restaurant entity. So that's all. So that's all for the first, so basically this is the solution for the first question. The second question looks a little bit more complex, but actually it's not that complex. So, so let's look at this. So basically, the figure below here represents a yearly sales report. Uh, basically, it's a yearly sales report. So we want to keep the information to represent this report in our database system. So it's for an insurance company in the US. It shows the yearly sales of various insurance products. So the company sells multiple insurance products. And yeah, they are also selling this product across many different US cities. So you, as you see, there is Chicago, New York. And the insurance product can be home insurance, car insurance, dental insurance, something like that. And it also identifies the sales person for each yearly sale. So there is a dedicated sales person. 
So basically, each salesperson is assigned to only one city. So in each city, there are multiple salesperson, and salesperson should belong to that one city. And salesperson can potentially sell many different products. And we want to, yeah, and then based on this report, we want to know how much sales each salesperson made for each insurance in each city. So that number is over there, sales. And this is a yearly sales report. So we also calculate yearly total for the city. So in the year 2016, there is a yearly total for Chicago, which is 30,000 US dollar like this. And for New York, in the same year, total sales will be 5,800 US dollar. And also we have a total yearly sales for the entire year across all the city, how much money company made like this. And there will be another year for the similar information. So that's basically all the information the company wants to keep. So the requirements is this. We want to draw a conceptual year diagram. And it should include you know, all the relationship attributes, appropriate entity, and primary key should be identified, and cardinality should be correct, and yeah, like this. Okay. So let's uh, try to make an ER diagram which can uh, keep and manage the information for the ER research report. So, so first of all, again, there are some uh, like entity we want to keep the information about. The one thing is basically the city. So for each city, there is a sales person. So there is a city, we want to make that as an entity. Sales person, we may also want to keep the sales person information. And also the product, insurance product. And also the year. So for each year, we want to represent this information. So basically year, city, sales person, insurance, in this case, those four uh, can be made as an entity. So let's create that first. So sales person. And the insurance product, so we can create here. And there was also year. And then there was a city. So attribute, we can have this kind of thing. So for the sales person, so there is no specific business rule about what should be primary key or something like that. So we can uh, use our imagination. So we can use the sales person name as a primary key if you want. So we can assume that. So if you make some kind of assumption, you can just write down in the yeah, together. So in this case, I just assume that every sales person in the company has a different name. So I use the name as a primary key. Same for the insurance. So insurance name can be also primary key in this case. In case of year, I mean the year itself can be primary key because it's the time entity. And for the city, also city name can be the primary key. Okay, so other attributes, um, you can add more if you want, but in this case, uh, there is no other like additional information uh, we are required to keep based on the report. So I just finish it here. And let's just think about the relationship. So first of all, uh, the sales person is assigned to only one city. So that was uh, one of the business rule. So we can make assigned to, so sales person is assigned to a city. For the cardinality, uh, based on the business rule in the question, sales person belongs to only one city. So if there is a sales person, uh, he should belong to only one and one city. And if there is a city, Potentially, in that city, there can be many sales person, at least one. If there is no sales person in the city, then uh, there is no need to have that city information. So that's why. And the next information is basically the selling insurance product. So basically, sales person is selling an insurance product in a certain year. So we can create sales relationship. So sales person is selling insurance product in a certain year. So we can make this tonality relationship in this case. For the cardinality, let's think from here. So we have to think from the perspective 
of a certain insurance in a certain year. So certain insurance in a certain year, how many salesperson can sell that? Potentially many. And at minimum, if nobody was able to sell that insurance in that year, it will be zero. Just think about the insurance here. So insurance product. So you have to think from the perspective of the other two entities, which is a certain sales person in a certain year, how many insurance he can sell. Maximum many, minimum zero. Here the same. So from the perspective of a sales person selling a certain insurance product, how many years he can sell? Many. And for that insurance, maybe he may not sell anything, so zero. So basically, this will be many to many to many tonally relationship. And when sales person sells a certain insurance in a certain year, we'll have uh, this sales information, how much he, uh, money he made by selling that. So that can be stored here in this tonally relationship. So basically, in this question, uh, this information here, the sales, a certain sales person selling a certain insurance in a certain year, that sales information can be stored here in the sales. Okay, and let's just see what other information we have to represent. The next one is uh, this one, yearly total for the city. So this, basically this is a sum of this information and it depends on a certain year in a certain city. It doesn't depend on sales person. It doesn't depend on insurance product because it's total. So it depends only on year and the city. So currently in our year diagram, there is no place to keep that information. So we can create another relationship linking city and year. So basically, the company will sell in a certain year, in a certain city. So in a certain year, the company can sell to sell across many city, uh, minimum zero. Also from the city's perspective, the company in a certain city, he may sell across many year, including uh, zero. And then we can store total yearly sales for CD here. So basically this main to main relationship is about the assignment of a CD in a certain year. So we can store this total yearly sale for CD into this relationship. The last information we want to represent now is uh, this total yearly sale. So basically it depends only on year. So in a certain year, they will sell many products across many city. We sum up this all information, then we have this. So total yearly sales, we have this number for every year. So we can store that here in the year entity. Total yearly sales, like this. So basically this will be the sample solution for the uh, yeah, question two in this case. So here, actually, you can design different ER diagram too. So this is a one sample solution, but another way is this. So when we make this uh, sales relationship, basically it's about sales person selling an insurance in a certain year. The sales person belongs to a certain city. So basically when they sell, you can also create this line here and you can say, it belongs to one city. Basically, sales person selling a certain insurance in a certain year, he'll be in a certain city, one city, one and only one. So you can make this tunnel relationship into like this too, with four linked entity. In that case, if you do that, actually this relationship is not necessary because you already have that information by using this line. So another, uh, potential design of this question is uh, basically without this 
without assign the two relationship, but you make link here from CD entity to the sales relationship like this. So that could be another potential solution for our question too.